Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to go through how to upload a program from an Allen Bradley Micro 800 Series PLC with the Connected Components Workbench. And this will work for the Micro 810 PLC, the Micro 820 PLC, the Micro 830, the Micro 850, and the Micro 870 PLC. Pretty much any of the Micro 800 PLCs. Please like this video, hit the subscribe button because we put at least one automation video out every week. And put in the comments any questions you have, anything you'd like to see videos on, or any other way that we can help you out. In our previous video, we went through how to configure our communications over Ethernet and over serial. So you can go back to those videos and figure out how to configure RS links. I'll put links to both of those in the description. The one thing that you won't know when you walk up to an unknown PLC, especially when it doesn't have an LCD screen, is what its IP address is. So we're going to use the PLC tool SIM IPE to discover that. So we're going to plug it in and we're going to go to read unknown and it'll read them out. Now, if you are using one of our trainers, then its default IP address is gonna be 192.168.110. The PowerFlex drive on the front of the trainer is gonna be 192.168.112. So we can see we have discovered two IP addresses on this network. So we have 192.168.110 and 192.168.112. Also, this tells us that this is the PowerFlux drive. So we know that that's on the back side. And this one says it's a 2080 LC20 20 QWB. And that is the model number of this Micro 820 PLC. Also, the MAC address is written right on the front of these if you have multiple ones. So you can compare this MAC address to the MAC address listed here, and that'll verify the PLC that you're working on. We want to upload our program from 192.168.110. So I have a new copy of CCW software open and we're gonna use the discover button. What that's gonna do is it's gonna go out there and figure out what PLCs are out there. And if we go to our ethernet IP driver that we configured in a previous video, we're gonna find our micro 820 PLC. We're gonna select it and click the okay button. And what that's gonna do is that's going to automatically create a project with the proper model number and it's going to upload the program for us. Okay, so it says it upload succeeded. We can see it's in run mode. We'll go ahead and hide this and do a little peeking around. We have one program in this and it's program one. And this is our getting started program. And this is mainly used to make sure your wiring exercise is done correctly. But it's a great exercise to do when you first get your trainer before you start downloading things to it just so you can get familiar with walking up to an unfamiliar PLC and pulling your program out. And one thing I do like about the 820 software is the descriptions are in it. So when you pull the program out, you will pull the descriptions out. All right, I think that's about it for this video. Next, we're gonna go through how to download your program to a PLC, and then we're gonna start going through the various instructions, you know, the bit instructions, the timer instructions, the counter instructions. We're gonna take a deep dive into all of them. Also, if you missed them, we already have videos on how to download the Connecting Components Workbench software for free from Alan Bradley. We have this wiring enough to get started exercise that teaches you how to wire syncing and sourcing inputs. We have how to configure RS links over ethernet for communications, how to do it over serial. And actually I'll put a link to a playlist that has all of these in there. That way you can just hit the play button and go through the whole series. Again, please like this video. Hit the subscribe button because we put at least one automation video out every week. Put in the comments any questions you have, anything you'd like to see videos on, or any other way that we can help you out. Also, if this video helped you make some money, but you're not actually using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.